Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Father's Day video using a child's artwork in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Father's Day is just around the corner, and we know that many of you will be looking for a way to show your dad how much you love him. Well, you could do that with Doodly, and to make it extra special, why not add his child's artwork to it? You'll see here I have just a little demo and I've got a child's artwork, but it's royalty free. So it looks a little bit more professional than what maybe your child's artwork looks like, right? I have a little drawing that my daughter did when she was four and you can see it's on a piece of paper. It looks like maybe it was folded as a paper airplane at one point. It's kind of, uh, you know, I've got these marks here and I have the paper in the background and it's just not nice and clean like this one. So what do we do? How can we clean that up a little bit and make it look nice so that we can draw it nicely using the hand in Doodly? Well, I have a little treat for you. Rather than using Photoshop or one of those other programs that's going to cost you money, it's a free online stencil maker and you can find it at rapidresizer.com. I usually go into Google and I enter free online stencil tool because whatever, for whatever reason, it's hard to find on their website. So you want to go find online rapidresizer.com and they have two of them. They have one that's alphabet letters and number stencils. Well, today we want to use the second choice, which is photograph to pattern. It is automatically going to trace our photos and pictures into a stencil. So here it is. So what I want to do is use an image from my device. So I'm going to click here and we go to my desktop. And this is where I have that little image that my daughter made. And you'll see already it's starting to look a little bit nicer. My little airplane fold marks are almost gone. Now you can experiment with these different choices here, these different tabs, like this turns it into some thin lines. I think threshold, well, right now it looks ugly, but if we go over here, we might be able to get rid of those. Yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of fiddle with it a little bit and get it. That's pretty good. It got rid of most everything and it's okay if these are a little light in spots. So I like this just fine as it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Save it to my computer. And now when we go back into Doodly, we go over to Props, Upload. This should be in my Downloads folder, so let's go check it out. There it is. And you can see it looks a lot nicer than what I have here. Now, of course, this image, you know, it's just a little kid's drawing of, I think it's a rocket man. I don't know exactly, but we're just gonna pretend that it's meaningful to our father. Now you may notice the background white color here is not transparent. It is a PNG file which supports transparency, but it's treating this background as a block of white. So that's why you cannot see behind it. Of course, you can remove that in other software editors if you'd like. For our purposes today, I think this will be fine. So let's go ahead and create something here for our Father's Day video. I'm gonna go back to my videos and I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna just title it Father's Day 2022. And I think I'm gonna make this with a square. So I'm gonna choose Facebook and Instagram. And it turns that into a square. Click create. And let's go back to props. And if I recall, I didn't name it. So it's just design, which was the default name that they gave me. Put that in the middle. Now you notice it's kind of cut off here at the top. That's just the way my drawing happened to be. And that's okay find a square dashed square this is an enterprise square so if you have doodly enterprise you have it if not there might be another square you can use or you could upload your own square i'm going to put it behind my rocket and then now i can make my rocket a little larger so it's contained within i like that and then I want to add a few royalty-free images that I found that are hand-drawn. 
you know, but they're a little bit neater. They are the royalty freestyle. And I've got about 12 of them here. Now I found these on Pixabay, I think. Maybe it was free pick. Those are the ones that my go-to ones. Now I've kind of arranged them. It's, it's okay. I'd probably fine tune it a little bit, but I think you get the idea. And I've selected them all. You'll notice they're all at the default three seconds. That's too long. I mean, that would take forever for this to draw. So I've selected them all. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to change their duration to 0.5. So that's half a second. And that's going to affect all of them. And now I'm going to go through individually and I'm going to tell Doodly to fade it on instead of draw it on. That way a quick half second fade for all of them. So you just click the little pencil icon and choose fade. And it'll just fade on one after the other. Okay, that should be all of them. Let's take a look and see what we have so far. Of course, we're gonna fix that. I don't like this um, erasing business at all. So go over here to settings. I'm gonna change the hand. I think we want a cartoon hand since we're doing little kid stuff. So I like this one. And then over here, erase mode, smart mode, turn that off. And let's take a look now. So we have our little hand. We're gonna pretend we're drawing that. And then these are just gonna fade on one after the other. And I kind of like how they're just random. And then we'll put a little happy Father's Day message in there in a moment. Let's take, let's find a kid font or a little handwriting font. This one will be fine. I think this one will be good. So I'll just drag that in. Do a word wrap. Center it. will be fine. I do have doodly rainbow, so that's why it's colored. It's turned on right now. I think it's going to be a little much. So to do that, go to your little gear icon, doodly rainbow off. And of course, that's if you have the doodly rainbow add-on. Now if I want to move it, so I've got these selected together, and I think like that will be fine, because I think that might be a mouth there. I don't know. Let's give it a little bit of a delay before that comes on, say a second and a half. And the bubble, do one second to draw that on, and then this will probably be fine. The very end, let's add some time, say seven seconds. We're almost done. Now what we want to do is hand draw this drawing. So go ahead, click on it, and go to the pencil icon. It's kind of hard to see right now. And you're just gonna do one path at a time, pretending you're the kid drawing it. So how would you draw this? You know, you'd probably start with this line, and then maybe a second line like that, and then this one, and then the circles, whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll probably speed this up for you because I know it's gonna be tedious. So let's start here. And let's adjust our path size. And I'm not going to be super precise here. We, we'll get a little bit of overlap on some of these lines. So just depending on the drawing that you have. See, like, that's going to, there's, they're going to see a little bit of an X on that line. I'm going to do a new path. And I'm going to go ahead and do this arm right away so that this X doesn't just stay apparent forever and ever. Now this one, I can fatten up the line a bit because look, there's nothing else that's going to be revealed. So this makes it a little bit easier and faster to deal with. New paths, and now let's go ahead and do this one. Now this time I don't want this big fat one, so I'm going to go back to the smaller one. And you're going to see a little bit of overlap, but that's okay. You know, we're, it's all going to take place in a matter of three seconds. So try not to overly obsess about that. I mean, you want to be aware of it and try and minimize it if you can. Not a big deal. Okay, so now he's finished. So let's go ahead and hit save and return. And we should be just about done. Let's take a quick look. 
All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and slow that down just a tad. After all, this is the main event here, right? So let's go ahead, let's make it seven seconds. So we're like, what is this? Oh yeah, that's that little rocket man drawing. And then, oh, this is kind of fun. And happy Father's Day, Daddy. And then we probably want to put the kid's name, Love So-and-So at the bottom. And that's how you can do it. I would probably add some music and maybe the kid's voiceover as well, the kid's saying that. But I think this gives you a good idea on how you can incorporate your child's artwork in your Happy Father's Day video. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.